In this tutorial, we will learn all the options from leader command. Here is the leader command. Click on it. Then specify the leader arrowhead location. Then take your cursor away. Make ortho off if it is on. Then specify the leader landing location. Then give the text that you want to write and click outside. Now this leader is not properly visible. To make it properly visible, click on annotation and click on this multi leader style. Click on modify, then select the leader structure and from here change the scale. If you increase the scale, the size of leader will increase and if you reduce the scale, size of leader will reduce. We will make it 15. Ok, close. This is the one method. You can also give annotative leader. For that click here. Click here on multi leader style and select annotative. Then give the leader. Ok. Then give the first point. Give the second point. And write down the text. Click outside. To change the scale of annotative leader, click here. And select the scale. As you increase the scale, the size of annotative leader will increase. Then again, we will choose leader. Now here he is asking for specify leader arrowhead location. But if you don't want to give the arrowhead location and want to give location for text, then you will have to click here. Content first. Then click the first point. Click the second point. Specify the window for text. Then write down the text. The text editor is same that we seen in mtext command in the previous tutorials. I will give the link in the description for the mtext command. If you want to view all these options, then click on this close text editor. Then give the location for the arrow. You can give location from any side and click the location. Now here location is only shown as endpoint and midpoint. If you want to give in between, you can take your cursor to one of the point and Track the point. Don't click there, just take your cursor away and click there. It will give the location at that point. Again, leader. If you want to switch back to arrowhead first option, click here leader arrowhead first. Then it will again ask for the leader arrowhead location. Then there are some more options are there. Click on this option. Click above. Now from here you can control the leader type. If you click on this leader type, you can have spline leader or no leader. If you select this option spline, then click on this exist options, give the first point and now it is creating the spline as a leader. Click there and give the text. Click outside. Again leader, click on this option, click above. Then leader landing. If you don't want to show this horizontal line, click on this no. Then it will not create the horizontal line. Click on exit option. Give the first point where you want to create the leader. Give the second point and write down the text. Click outside. Now here it has not created the landing. Leader then again options. Then content type. You can choose whether you want a block, M text or nothing. If you just want to create the arrow and you don't need the text then you can choose this none option. Exist option, give the first point, then give the second point. It will only create the arrow and it will not ask for the text. Again leader, then option, then again content type. In content type you can attach the block to the leader. For that at first we will create some block. As a block suppose we want to create a square of 8 by 8 size. What happens when we use block with leaders? The scale that we defined here in multi leader style modify this scale actually applied to your block that means if your block size is 1 it will be multiplied by 15 and the size will become 15 therefore while creating the block we will have to consider this therefore if suppose i want to create a square of 8 by 8 size and considering this 15 scale factor that means the required size of the square will be 8 divided by 15 that is 0.53 that means I will have to create a square of 0.53 to 
to have a size of 8 by 8. We will create one square of 0.53. Click on the rectangle, give the first point. Click on dimension. Then give the length of 0.53 and width of 0.53. Enter. Then zoom and click outside. Then create one circle using three point method. Give the three points. Then we also want to add attributes into it so that when we insert the leader, it will ask for the text. Click on this block. Click on this define attributes. Give the tag. We will give one as a tag. Then prompt is enter number. Then default value is one. Then we will take center alignment. Text height we will take it. Now it is 0.53. So we will take it 0.25. Okay, and click inside it and move it and arrange it at a spot required by us. Then make the block of it, click here, create, then give the name SQ1, then pick point. I will take this as an insertion point, then select the object, enter, and click on OK. Give the number ok then we will use this block in leader click on this leader then click on this option and click on content type block give the name block name is sq1 enter then click on this exit options then give the first point for the leader give the second point then give the number suppose i want it to be 2 ok in this way this leader with block is added and if we again try to add it, leader, click on option, then click on content type, block, name sq1 is correct, enter, then exit option, give the first point, click here, and if I give it number 3, ok, so this number we can change because of attributes. Then again leader, click on options, that was content type, then max point, you can specify how many points are needed by your leader. Click on this max point. Suppose I want 4 points for my leader. Enter. Exit option. Then give the first point. Second point. Third point and fourth point. And give the text. Click outside. In this way this leader is created with 4 point. I can leader. Options. Then you can define the angle, first angle, click on this first angle, then give the angle, I want it in the increment of 30 degree, enter, click on exit option, then give the first point and take your cursor. As we take the cursor above, it will switch directly by 30 degree, that means it will be incremented by 30 degree, each and every time we move the arrow. Click once the desired position is achieved, give the text. This arrow is created at the angle of 30 degree. Then if you want to club some of the leaders, then you can use this option, collect. Select the leader you want to collect, enter and give the position. So it is useful with the blocks. It will collect the blocks in single leader. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.